guys, this is Veronica coming to you from Image Ballroom Dance Academy. Today I will be covering a step in the Paso Doble called Surplus. Let's get started. Let's learn the pattern for our step in Paso Doble called the Surplus. Just so you know, the step literally means on the spot, so we will not be traveling. I'm gonna start with the leader's perspective first. Leaders, in Paso Doble, most of the time, you will start with the right foot first. I'm gonna use eight steps, but you can do also half and four. So here we go. You can go up also in elevation. So let me demonstrate. You're gonna march on the spot, raise the heels, and we go. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. And now, the followers perspective of the same step. We start followers with our left foot. Again, raise onto the balls of the feet and we start marching on the spot. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And that is the pattern for the surplus. Next, let's discuss the timing of the surplus step in Paso Doble. You are able to use one through four, or if you'd like to make it even longer, you can do one through eight. And for our purposes today, for your practice, we're gonna use count one through eight. So, as a leader, I'm going to start first with the right foot. So we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now, I'm going to do the follower's perspective. We're going to start with the left foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the timing for our surplus. We continue with some of the fundamental execution tips for your surplus. As you can tell, the pattern and the timing are pretty basic. So how can we really make this step special? Here are a few tips. So first of all, in order to keep a nice balance, you want to make sure you keep your belly tight during this step and your knees are flex, slightly flexed, so they're flexible. That will help you with the balance when you get up onto the balls of the feet. So as you are marching, make sure every time that you have pressure with the floor. So as I start, you'll hear a slight noise with the floor, and that is the pressure that I'm referring to. The other tip that I can offer you is to slightly rise in elevation during the surplus. So, as I march, I start low, one, two, three, four, and then I rise, five, six, seven, eight. So, as you notice, I start to straighten my knees to elevate myself higher. Let me demonstrate the lady's perspective, and one, and a two, and a three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. And I'm going to turn sideways to you. And one and a two and three, four and five, six, seven, eight. I have invited my partner, Rangel, so we can demonstrate how we can exaggerate our shape in the frame to make the step more special. So we're first going to use elevation through the count one through four and shape towards Rangel's right. And then we're gonna lower ourselves and change the shape to the opposite direction in a lower manner. So here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we demonstrate a different view. And one, two, three, four, five, six, we hope that these tips were helpful for your practice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you on the next video. Bye!